So one of my closest friends, they are currently going through their watch of One Piece for the first time. And he currently, I believe he just finished the Arlong Park art and he entered Alabasta. So he did Logtown as well. He's an anime fan. Now, I'm not going to say he's some anime connoisseur, but he's also not a newbie. I know that he's seen Naruto, JJK. I believe he's seen Demon Slayer, AOT, and FMAB. And he's seen more than that, but that's just some that I know that he's seen. And whenever someone is first watching One Piece, it brings such a smile to my face. For YouTube, I'm not exclusively a One Piece YouTuber. I post Clash of the Elite, AOT, and some other series as well. But One Piece is my favorite anime and I enjoy talking about it a lot. It always has and always will have a special place in my heart. But today I want to talk about why the best time to watch One Piece is now if you guys enjoy regular anime content make sure you guys like the video subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you guys never miss out a new video with that away my name is potential leash and let's talk about why now is the best time to start one piece my first time viewing this series or reading the manga it was pretty cool i'm not gonna lie i saw it in my fall semester of my junior year and i finished it right before school started closing COVID and to put that into perspective I am currently well this summer going into the fall I will be a junior in college so I started One Piece around five years ago and I love it when someone new watches One Piece because I remember my experience going through this series there was constant nights of me staying up so late and watching so many of the good moments there's also times where I wouldn't do any school work or you know, I would wake up, watch One Piece go to school during different times of class, watch One Piece, come home, watch it. That's just the cycle that I went through. It's so much of a journey watching it and wanting slash waiting to read or watch this next episode or the next chapter to come out each and every week. I enjoy that and I can't help but sometimes i end up and i know you guys are going to call me crazy i do it because i enjoy it and also because i need to refresh myself because of youtube um i reread and rewatch one piece probably at least once out of the year it's cool to see other people's experience when it comes to watching one piece i like watching people's reactions to different dope reveals or hype moments that happen in the series and it's cool because they're enjoying something that i did so long ago it's a series that you wish that you could forget and watch and experience everything all over again because of the journey that the straw has gone and because of the many emotional moments that this series has now does one piece have fights absolutely it's not on the level of you know you're not expecting dragon ball level fights or naruto level fights you watch one piece because of the journey because of the emotional moments and the way that they hit it makes you want to keep watching even more i'd probably say that one piece is in the best spot that it's ever been and people might say that that's a crazy statement because the sequence between Sabayote and Marineford was probably One Piece when it was at its peak. Because during those time periods of Sabayote to Impel Down to Marineford, One Piece had highs in terms of sales volumes during those periods. It was probably its best stretch of the series. I don't have the exact numbers, but I know it jumped from like 10 a million to like 20 million to around 30 even breaking barely 40 million around those times and when you put it into perspective the average that a company does or a series does per year would be seven to nine million i know there's some outliers like demon slayer doing 80 something million i believe in 2019 or 2020 jjk had a pretty good year last year as well and so when you look at one piece as a series i know some people said that one piece has fallen off because it dropped back down to the seven to nine million range which isn't true at all it just means one piece went back to being what typically you would average for sales volume the anime the animation has been great we've never seen one piece have consistent animation 
at this high of a level. I'd say at its best, it competes with Ufotable, who does Demon Slayer, Mappa, Wit, and other series as well. All of Wano, it has been fantastic, especially the two most recent episodes of 1061 dealing with Sanji versus Queen and 1062 of Zoro versus King. I personally prefer watching Wano's anime over reading its manga. It's that good. The anime is in such a fantastic spot right now. The manga, it's been consistently fire each and every week. There's different reveals going left and right, different mysteries that are being uncovered as well. And this may be because the series is getting towards the end game, but I'd say the last six months or whenever egghead started has been straight gas from start to finish it's like oh that he's stepping on a, the gas pedal of a car and he's just not letting up it's consistent reveals and consistent plot twists and each and every time a chapter comes out it starts trending on twitter immediately so i'd say the manga is in its best spot ever since Sabayoti through the Marine Force saga. Film Red, it released recently. It's the highest grossing One Piece movie of all time. And I believe in terms of all of anime that it is a top six highest grossing movie as well. And a lot of Shanks is involved in that movie. And we know as One Piece fans, well, you guys might know, some of y'all who are watching this might not have gotten into and you're looking for a reason too but shanks is a character that he's very important and at the same time you see him like once every 200 chapters and so getting a movie about him where he's involved it's so cool and this is a lot of people's favorite and mostly the community it's the most popular one piece movie ever made there's been different promotions for one piece and i haven't seen it being promoted like this in a while episode 1000 was promoted all throughout japan and even different theaters were showing the episode sanji versus queen and zoro versus king they've had promotional videos hyping up their fights and there's also been promotional videos um, hyping up other moments as well don't want to spoil them and also one piece it partnered with mcdonald's in japan mcdonald's you can love it or hate it but it is i guess you could say the most successful food for well, fast food franchise so that's an even better feat for one piece i know how people feel about live action animes i understand because they've never had one or if they have it's been very few to be successful but i still want them to continue trying with live action because once someone does it right it'll be great and one piece is getting a live action it should adapt the entire east blue saga and oda he said that he won't allow them to release it until he's satisfied and that's supposed to be released sometime in 2023 and so different people who aren't interested in anime or some people who think one piece's art style isn't for them or the, and that it's wonky and weird and cartoonish they can look at the live action and still enjoy one piece should you start reading the manga or watching the anime i'm not gonna lie to you i personally would recommend the manga it's better paced it's consistent artwork and you read faster than you watch the anime it's good but it does have its pacing flaws and they don't have consistent animation towards the earlier part of the series i think both are good to start though i will say me personally i ended up watching the anime through and then when i got caught up i ended up switching to the manga that's always an option or you could read the manga and the different things you want to see animated you can go back and check out the anime or if you enjoy both you can just read and watch both the best time to start watching one piece is now the anime is at its best part the manga is at one of its best part in the series they're getting a live action you should definitely start and be a part of this journey before the series ends so you guys can experience everything that the community has to offer but thank you guys so much for watching let me know how you guys feel about one piece do you guys think it's too long are you guys ready to start it and if you guys have started how have you guys enjoyed your journey along the way thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe also hit the notification bell so you guys never saw a new video follow me on instagram twitter snapchat and tiktok is on the screen and in the description below thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to unleash your potential